hello and welcome to another video uh, this video I made it for a user that requested it on YouTube so um, what this video talks about is how to export uh, data from SQL into an Excel sheet or Excel workbook so I done a other video that imports from CSV into SQL but this is the other way around um, so what is, you first need to do is go into this site uh, you can either go to codeplex.com and search for NPOI or just go directly to it npoi.coplex.com and once you go to the download page um, you have a few options the alpha version and the, this one that is stable so I'm using this version on this demo once you download the binary package and you agree just say no I already did it go back to your Visual Studio and add reference to it I already did so that's all you need to do that's the first thing after that as you can see at the top I'm not using any namespaces for that uh, component yet or I'm not using it on this uh, page or on this code so as you can see here I have a dummy data I have a table named T and this table has three columns order item and quantity they're all string and as you can see on this other line I'm just adding rows to it or data dummy data so when I do the when I run it it will actually give me an Excel sheet with this data on it so as you can see here I have uh, I made this class Excel writer or whatever you want to call it and from here I have a method called data table to Excel and it takes a data table and a file string or whatever you want to save your file your Excel file to so I'll run it and it will run close out and as you can see I have a Excel sheet called menu data that's the name that I assign on this line so if I open this guy you should see the same data on my Excel so I have the headers order item and quantity and in the data these are the rows that I enter and as you can see they're in the same order as this order is the same thing I entered on this code so as you can see it's pretty easy to do so now I'm gonna show you how I end up getting this Excel file so to make this happen I have this class Excel writer so I'll go to that class just a basic class but on this one I added this namespaces mpo that ss dot user model and this other one plus the data since I'm using a data table and the IO because I'm gonna be saving to the file system so as you can see I got two methods here the one that I just show is this one uh, this one is the next I'm gonna show but this one here's how you do it so once you have those namespaces at the top, this two and P O I. Now you can start saying uh, build my main object, which is the workbook. You initialize, and from here you create a sheet. Um, this one I just call it log. And after that, to create the sheet, actually the workbook object creates the sheet and returns an object now as you can see here I'm passing the tab name so once you have your sheet your Excel sheet 
now you can put data on it so as you can see here I got the header and the same thing this is your sheet so I'm saying create a row in this sheet at level zero so we'll start at zero that's the first row in Excel and I'm, and this guy will return a row as you can see so I'm creating a row here and on this row called header I'm creating or adding values to my cell at zero index which is called order so I'll open this guy up kinda confusing there but as you can see order here it's zero base and as you can see for item it's one for quantity is two so the next step is to keep track of what row you're on so we already know that this row is zero this is zero now I want to start adding data on row one which is this one so as you can see this guy is going to keep track or will be incremented as I go down the rows so I'll start with one so now the argument or the parameter over here it takes a data table so I'm here I'm saying for each row in this table I want to pull first of all create a row so this row is going to be row 1 on row 1 I want to go into my cell a specific cell and it will be called order so when you row you can create a cell so I'm adding here a cell by cell so I'm saying create this cell and add value order to it and then item quantity so you can see here order quantity so each row close this guy up will go through each row add it to excel and at the end it will increment so the next row that I come it will be 2 so I'll be on row 2 and then as it finishes and the final step is to create a file stream just pass where you want to save it and what mode we're doing with creating uh, so it will be overwrite if you already have it so be careful and all I'm doing now is saying well write to the stream which is file stream and then we close the file stream that's how I got uh, this file so the next one that I have is basically the same same code this guy go down here the same thing I'm just using different uh, data now I'm using the AdventureWorks I believe sample database from Microsoft and that's what I'm doing so it's the same thing here nothing has changed the only thing that you have to change is the headers because you know most uh, tables are all different and you probably pulling data from all over the place so on this one what I done to make it easy just make a what I did was add a data set I did pull a data table adapter from the tools drop it in here and as you can see here I'm just pulling a few columns from this purchasing that vendor so anyways what I done is just do the same thing so since I have my class ready, all I need to do now is say object Excel writer data table to SQL. And as you can see, I have a data from SQL here. It is right here. So this is coming from SQL Server based on this data set. So here I'm creating my adapter object and my table data table object and here I'm saying okay adapter fill my table with all the data and then return it so you can see I'm returning a data table which is over here and that's what it's 
uh, parameters is asking for a data table so I'm pulling it from him from SQL and here I'm saying well here's where you want to save it to uh, so I'll run it again oh got up so as you can see this error is because I have opened this file so just close it so I'll go back and try again run done so I should have another file called SQL data so open Excel so I got it just as I expected so I got my vendor name phone and email address and it was pretty quick and this one I got 157 and as you can see I got the tab name also so that's all what uh, you have to do uh, download that free uh, component build your workbook your sheet your row headers and once you have set it up all you need to do is pull the columns you need from your data table and you can customize uh, this object with a, a lot of options so hopefully this will give you an idea on how to pull data from SQL and save it into an Excel uh, workbook as you saw in this video. So subscribe and send me an email if you have any questions on this project, uh, saving data from SQL into Excel file.